Hey guys, Dragus here. This is Dragus Reviews. So today I just barely got the Skull Candy Barrel XT. It's Skull Candy's biggest speaker that they're doing right now. I just saw it on Walmart. I was just scrolling past, saw it on a little like they were advertising it, and I was like, what the hell? I didn't even realize that Skull Candy made a bigger one. I've seen all these reviews on like their smaller ones they were making and everything. And so when I saw this, I was like, holy crap, no way. So it looks like it's about the size of, like, the JBL Boombox 3 and 2 and probably 1. Um, and will definitely, like, go up against all of those. So I'm pretty excited. It was $169. So with tax, I think I ended up paying, like, 182 on it. But... I want to do a quick kind of unboxing on it and just kind of see what it looks like and let's see what's inside. Let's see how it is. I'm super excited. I can't believe they're kind of trying to compete with the Tribit Stormbox Blast and the JBL Boombox. So this looks super cool. So looks like... We have, ah, holy cow, a bunch of stuff just came out. So power cord, and then a bunch of these Skull Candy stickers. So I guess if you want to put those on like your phone or anything, or maybe on the speaker itself. And then we have, okay, so the other part of, the charger, the, I think that's called the AC charger. Anyways, so cool. That's the full thing. All right, let me see if I can get this out. Sorry, I'm just doing this all one-handed. Let's turn this upside down and see. Holy cow. All right, so we got a speaker. We got the rest of those stickers and then this is all of just the yeah styrofoam blah blah don't need that all right let's see if we can kind of get this undone sorry <laughs> like i said i'm just doing this one-handed all right so yeah this thing's sick it's about 12 pounds so it's a little bit lighter than the actual JBL. Um, I think it's about the same weight as the Tribit. It's got this really nice Skull Candy branding right there. Skull Candy, sorry. Uh, we got the power, up, down on volume, push play, Bluetooth. Looks like light mode. Let's see if it has any juice. All right, we got power, holy crap, those lights are sick, oh my gosh. All right, so their light game's awesome. And then we got these little passive radiators on the sides. They're a little bit smaller than like the JBLs, but they look good. Anyways, yeah, that light, oh, that's cool. Check those light modes out. Red, so RGB lights, just like the full spectrum. Got like a bar up type thing. And then from the outside in. What? That's pretty cool. Not gonna lie, I dig that the lights go all the way across this thing. All right, well, let's pair up to it and let's do a little music test. Give me just a sec, guys. All right, guys. All right, let's go ahead and test the sound out. So I haven't seen if they have like a test or sorry, a app for it, um, like on the phones or anything like that. So I'm not sure if you can do any sort of EQ or anything like that, but uh, I do have just it connected to my Bluetooth. We're gonna try two songs real quick and just kind of see how it is. 
All right, let's go. little sound test i'm gonna get it uh put all the way up on its battery let's get it charged up see if it makes a difference if you plug it in versus not honestly it sounds super good it's not quite as bassy as the boombox 3 and boombox 2 i would say it sounds very similar to kind of like the monster blaster 3.0 and the sound core I think it's called the Rave Party 2. Kind of in that area. The Rave Party 2 might have slightly more bass. Um, I kind of want to just charge it up. See what happens. And yeah, let's go from there and verse it up against some other speakers. Alright, thanks for tuning in guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya.